Hi everyone, it's Emmys here. I'm colouring very quickly, it's grossly speeded up, a little bear that I printed out from the Polka Doodles Winston cartridge. And um, I'm afraid that the light was absolutely dreadful and it didn't matter whichever way I tried uh, to video it, then uh, the shadows were getting in the way, plus the fact that I'm left-handed. But first of all, I covered the entire little bear, apart from the heart that he's holding, with warm grey one, and I saturated it. I actually, because I'm going to be cutting him out, I actually used the wedge tip for this. Then I moved on to my darkest, which is the way that I always work. I usually put a coat of the lightest colour down first, and then the darkest. I use warm grey four for this. And I shadowed in just the areas where there would be the most shadows. I then went over and softened that line and carried it, extended it a little bit with the uh, warm grey 3, which is what I'm doing now in the video. And moved on to warm grey 2, going over blending that uh, warm grey 3 and uh, softening softening the lines if you know you're going to be cutting an image out it makes it very much easier because you don't have to worry about staying within the lines I'm now going in with my warm grey one again and you'll notice that I'm only going around the the lines that I've already created I'm not going over the whole image again with the warm grey one. That keeps the muzzle and the parts that I want to stay light, really light, until I've finished all the shading. And now I'm going back in with the very darkest colour, the warm grey four, and adding more shadow and more depth. And I repeat the process going on to the warm grey two. adding shadow where I think it's needed. And moving on to the lighter colours. And here I'm using the wedge end again to go over the whole of the image with the yeah, with the warm grey one to soften everything and to add more colour where uh, where I think it's necessary. By this time the paper is thoroughly saturated which is why you need a good quality paper with alcohol markers. I'm just adding a tiny bit of blush to his muzzle. I think you call it muzzle. And it still looks a mess, but when it's dried, it really was quite good. Now I'm using a bit of old cut-up tea towel and some Ranger blending solution. And I'm just dabbing it all over with the, uh, with the textured terry toweling. And that way you get a pleasantly mottled effect on the little bear. Uh, so I hope you enjoy trying this technique. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.